I'm sorry about that. All I'm saying is I don't want to discuss no wedding arrangements with a substitute ski. Oh. <laughs> this is not going to work. Oh, Ron, can't you talk to him, please? I'll try, Gloria. Archie? Stifle? <laughs> I guess I can't, Gloria. Daddy, all I'm asking you to do is meet his uncle halfway. I mean, he's a self-made man like yourself, Daddy. You see, you two might find you have a lot in common. Oh, yeah? What does the guy do for a living? He's a florist. A florist? <laughs> what does a Polish florist sell? Weeds? I'm trying to look about myself. Plenty of weeds for guys like you. Party of men, guys. I, I, I think it must be wonderful to work with flowers and be surrounded by them all day long. Ah, what kind of a job is that? Prancing around amongst the pansies all day. <laughs> That's what I call dumb work for a man. What's dumb about trying to bring a little beauty into the world? I ain't talking about that. All I'm saying is that a real man ought to be doing something useful. Like, for instance, driving a hack, tending bar, spreading asphalt. Okay, Daddy, but people need florists, too, and painters and poets. Ah, very few people need them. Turn on your television there. All right, you get one channel, you see a couple of fruitcakes reading poetry of one another. Then you flip over to another channel. You see a couple of he-men battling out in the middle of the ring. Now, which one of them is any real American going to watch? That depends what time it is, though. <laughs> what? Because if Marcus Welby is on, people will probably Will you watch stop that? driving me crazy with Marcus Welby? <laughs> oh, that must be Uncle Cassie. Daddy, oh, please be nice, please. Oh, I'm always nice, little girl. Now go and open the door and let Uncle Pollock in. <laughs> Look, Mr. Bunker, this is the last warning. He's very sensitive. What, you got a rash, too? 